Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 69 of the year 2021, appointing Dr. Risan Hamoud Al Badran as member of the Supreme Council for Health. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan on his country's Independence Day. His Majesty the King wished His Majesty King Abdullah health and happiness and the Jordanian people for their progress and prosperity. His Majesty praised the deep rooted relations between the two countries and people and their steady progress. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the acting U.S. Charge d'Affaires to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Margaret Nardi, who presented His Majesty with the U.S. Fifth Fleet and Combined Maritime Forces Commander, Vice Admiral Charles Cooper. His Majesty welcomed the guests and congratulated the Vice Admiral over his appointment. He expressed pride in the deep rooted bilateral ties, which is based on mutual trust and cooperation. He also praised the development of these ties on all levels, especially in the fields of military and defense. His Majesty also praised the key role that the U.S. administration is playing in safeguarding peace and stability in the region. For his part, the Vice Admiral expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for his efforts in developing the bilateral ties, especially in the field of defense. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the Jafari Sharia Court of Appeal under Secretary Sheikh Nasr Ahmed Khalaf Al Asfur. His Majesty welcomes Sheikh Nasr Al Asfur and expresses his appreciation for his efforts as well as those of the clerics in the service of Islam and Muslims as they offer constructive advice and urge people to coexist and respect one another. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan on his country's Independence Day. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister sent a similar cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Jordan, Prince Hussein bin Abdullah II. The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting held remotely. The cabinet stated that the health and safety of citizens and residents remains a priority and noted the importance of ensuring national efforts to combat COVID-19 and continue to be successful in safeguarding the health of all. In this regard, the cabinet commended the efforts and commitment of the National Medical Task Force for combating the coronavirus and the frontline workers guaranteeing the safety of everyone. The Cabinet reviewed a report on COVID-19 developments and underscored the importance of furthering the national vaccination campaign and the importance of periodically reviewing precautionary measures and taking the necessary steps to maintain public health. Furthermore, the Cabinet emphasized the importance of continuing to strictly follow all precautionary health measures to safeguard the Kingdom's community. The Cabinet noted the outcomes of the virtual emergency meeting of the Executive Committee of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation to discuss the situation in Gaza based on invitation by Saudi Arabia. The emergency meeting addressed initiatives to stop the dangerous escalation of conflicts in Gaza and the rest of the Palestinian territories and to reach a peaceful solution that guarantees the legitimate rights of the Palestinian people. The cabinet affirmed Bahrain's firm position in support of the Palestinian cause and the rights of the Palestinian people to establish an independent state with Al-Quds al-Sharif as its capital in accordance with international legitimacy decisions, the two-state solution and the Arab peace initiative. 
The cabinet welcomed the declaring a ceasefire between Israel and the Palestinians in Gaza, considering it a step that supports efforts to promote comprehensive peace in the Middle East. The cabinet praised the efforts of Egypt and international Arab efforts active in the negotiations between the two parties to reach a long-term agreement to end military cooperations in Gaza. The cabinet discussed a number of memorandums during the meeting and outlined the following outcomes. Firstly, the approval of the following memorandums. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on an MOU between the Central Bank of Bahrain and the Central Bank of Brazil, which aims to enhance cooperation and exchange of information between the two countries. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Foreign Affairs regarding the fourth periodic report of the Kingdom of Bahrain 2021, which the Kingdom submits under Article 19 of the Convention Against Torture to the United Nations Committee Against Torture, the CAT. A memorandum submitted by the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning on partial and total expropriation of real estate for the purpose of developing the road network, urban development and urban planning. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's responses to six proposals and two legislative proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. His Highness the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa received the invitations addressed to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for Bahrain's participation in the 2021 G20 Interfaith Forum to be held on September 12th till the 14th in Bologna, in Italy. The invitations were delivered by the Director of the John 23rd Foundation for Religious Studies in Bologna and holder of the UNESCO Chair on Religious Pluralism and and peace, Dr. Alberto Meloni, as and he was also received by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak. The Deputy Prime Minister hailed Dr. Meloni's visit and hailed the amicable relations between Bahrain and Italy. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed stressed Bahrain's belief in promoting religious freedoms and the values of tolerance, mutual respect, and coexistence among societies, and in light of the wise vision of His Majesty the King. Dr. Maloney expressed his pleasure in visiting Bahrain and praised its stances in support of the values of tolerance, religious pluralism and peace among countries and people, wishing the kingdom further progress, prosperity and development under his wise leadership. Italy's ambassador to Bahrain, Paolo Amadi, attended the meeting. The parliamentary division in Bahrain, led by the Speaker of the Representatives Council and head of the division's executive committee, Fawzi ibn Abdullah Zainal, participated in the 142nd Assembly of the Inter-Parliamentary Union, an interactive discussion which takes place on the general theme entitled Overcoming the Epidemic Today and Creating a Better Tomorrow, the Role of Parliaments. The discussion will highlight the main aspects of the recovery phase and opportunities for progress towards a green economy, access to vaccine as a public benefit, and a renewed multilateral cooperation and dialogue to face global challenges, including potential future epidemics. A number of other vital topics are likely to be discussed in the meeting of the various committees. The Ministry of Transportation and Communication won the World Data Summit 2021, which was held under the auspices of the UN. The Kingdom of Bahrain was represented through the ministry under the e-program Al Nouras, which issues licenses for airplanes. The Minister of Transportation Kamal Ahmed affirmed that this achievement adds to Bahrain's in the field and affirmed its leading position. He said that it sheds light on the efforts that have been carried out in this field, especially by the IT Directorate and the Air Transport Directorate at the Civil Aviation aviation affairs. The King Hamad Center for Peaceful Coexistence received the holder of the UNESCO Chair on Religious Pluralism and Peace at Bologna University in Italy, Dr. Alberto Meloni. On the occasion of their visit to the Kingdom in order to review the Kingdom's pioneering experience in freedom of religions and peaceful coexistence. According to the Royal Vision of His Majesty the King, where opportunities were discussed to enhance joint cooperation and support initiatives to spread the principles of respect for religious freedoms and peaceful coexistence at the regional and international levels. 
What I've seen uh, this morning is a group of young students, and so for an old professor as I am, uh, young students are also a promising uh, place and a promising future for research. And uh, as one of the students uh, said uh, this morning, ignorance is the mother of violence and uh, uh, conflict. And so wherever and whenever uh, knowledge is spread and fostered, we may hope that for rights, for freedom and for peace there is a better future. And in Italy there is much interest in your model of religious coexistence, so I very much hope that this visit is going to be the beginning of a stronger collaboration, a deeper collaboration between our two countries from a cultural and especially academic perspective. I'm a professor at the University of Bologna, so I hope that my university will also be a partner in ensuring that we can collaborate, have your students come to Italy, send our students to you to learn from one another about you know, this uh, particularly interesting model of religious coexistence that I am learning about thanks to this visit. We were very honoured today to receive uh, Professor Meloni and Professor Mancini from Italy and uh, very excited to hear the news of the G20 uh, interfaith um, summit that will take place in Bologna and Italy later this year. And the King Hamid Global Centre for Peaceful Coexistence will be honoured to participate, of course. Um, here today uh, we showed a uh, short video presentation and some speeches from some of the outstanding young students who have already benefited from Sapienza University, the King Hamid Chair at Sapienza University in Italy, and also from the King Hamid Faith and Leadership Fellows Programme with Oxford and Cambridge Universities. And my heart was bursting with pride when I heard them speak today about His Majesty's vision and Bahrain's legendary history of um, you know, peaceful coexistence and religious freedom. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 880,795 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 699,308 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 22,321 with 1,548 recoveries and 3,177 registered new cases and 20 deaths. 1,071 of the new registered cases are expatriates. 2,099 are contacts of active cases and seven are travel-related. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.